NVIDIA today announced massive AI investments in UK, which means a lot in a lot of Blackwell and NVIDIA GPU sales. Now, this investment is coming with a lot of great partners, companies like OpenAI, companies like Microsoft, and more importantly, companies like CoreWeave. Outside of that, in this episode, I also want to take a closer look at two secret stocks in the AI market that you probably have never heard about. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. All right, so let's start off with this massive AI investment. NVIDIA in the United Kingdom built nations, AI's infrastructure and ecosystem to fuel innovation, economic growth. In kind of a very top level overview, it's NVIDIA and AI infrastructure partners, Enscale, CoreWeave, and others to invest up to 11 billion pounds in UK AI factories with up to 120,000 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs. Now, one of those partners we're going to see is Enscale, the UK AI infrastructure company that is expected to scale up to 300,000 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs worldwide with up to 60,000 GPUs in the UK alone. So the first thing we are seeing is this is a major investment just on the Blackwell architecture. And most of them are going to be the ultra Blackwell GPUs. Now the ultra Blackwell GPUs are the ones that are shipping right now. And it seems like the demand for them are crazy. Now, outside of that, NVIDIA is also kind of helping with certain initiatives. They are working with quantum computing companies to build a quantum GPU AI supercomputing center. And they're also working with robotics companies to accelerate the nation's AI and robotic ecosystem. Now, obviously with quantum GPU, we've heard about this before, this hybrid quantum computing where it's you have some form of qubits, but you also have AI computing and AI supercomputers doing things like error correction. Now, with the robotics industry, this makes perfect sense. And with the overall UK investment, NVIDIA, at the end of the day, wants everybody to be an AI scientist and to be pushing AI investments. Because if they do, they're going to need more and more GPUs. So NVIDIA has to provide GPUs to everywhere worldwide where they can continue to develop because if the future is truly the robotics market, AI agents, you want to have developers all over the world because that demand is going to continue to grow globally, right? It's like, I'm going to feed you off in this market that is just starting off. And once you're mature enough, once you've gotten big and, and huge, and these markets are multi hundred billion dollar opportunities, you're going to come back to me to get more and more food, AKA GPUs. Now, in terms of this partnership. They announced three companies. They announced CoreWeave, Microsoft, and Enscale. Actually, four. They also talk about OpenAI. But they mentioned by the end of 2026, the companies will build and operate AI factories that will serve leading AI models, including those from OpenAI. Now, within those 11 billion pounds, they kind of broke it down, not necessarily with each number value, but they told us who is doing what. So first is going to be NVIDIA Cloud Partner and Scale. The UK-based AI infrastructure company is deploying 300,000 NVIDIA Grace, Grace Blackwell GPUs in AI factories across the United States, Portugal, and Norway. So that's a massive, massive uh, cloud partner right there, with 60,000 of those being established in the UK. Now, there were some other partnerships. Enscale, OpenAI, and NVIDIA are establishing Stargate UK, which will feature NVIDIA's Blackwell Ultra GPUs operating in Enscale's UK data center by 2026. But this is pretty crazy, right? Because OpenAI is already investing a lot of money with Oracle, has that big RPO. They continue to spend money and they continue to have this massive demand here and, and expanding globally. The other partner is Enscale and Microsoft also announced plans to build the UK's most powerful supercomputer. It is expected to feature more than 24,000 NVIDIA Grace Blackwell Ultra GPUs to provide Mac Microsoft Azure services in the UK. Again, another massive order there for the Grace Blackwell Ultras. Additionally, additionally, CoreWeave, my baby right now, announced that it will establish an advanced data center in Scotland with Grace Blackwell Ultra. GPUs powered by renewable energy. In addition to that, Blackwell, BlackRock, 
the world's largest asset manager, recently announced it will invest up to 500 million pounds to modernize UK data centers in partnerships with Digital Gravity Partners. These data centers will be refurbished to be NVIDIA ready, enabling them to be equipped with the latest AI hardware. So again, all of this massive investments just coming from one country alone. There's other parts around the world that continue to build up their AI infrastructures, Japan, India, um, all parts of, of the world as well, North America, uh, United States, obviously Canada. And I think this demand is going to continue as there is a lot and a lot of potential for the AI space. Now they talk a little bit about kind of the quantum market. And like, if you remember, I don't know if I mentioned it already with the quantum computing, you kind of have that hybrid approach where Nvidia uses the GPUs for things like error correction. Uh, and you have kind of the quantum processors doing the quantum computing itself. The only thing I found interesting here is they are working with a company called Digital Realty. And I do believe this is a form of data center company. So I just wanted to kind of bring that out there. Now, throughout the rest of the press release, the company did, uh, NVIDIA shared a lot of the companies that they are working with. A lot of these are private. A lot of these are private, except one. And I just wanted to bring it up because, you know, with NVIDIA, there's always that um, touch, that golden touch where anything NVIDIA touches can create some great momentum. I don't know if I'll do anything with it, but one of the companies there was Oxford Nanopore Technologies. And this is a UK-based company. You can trade it over the counter, ticker O-N-T-T-F. Currently, a uh, market cap of 1.5 uh, pounds, a billion pounds um, valuation. And I think we can see it here. The Oxford uh, Nanopore uh, company was working with NVIDIA to kind of do some form of drugs discovery, simulating therapies, and drug design. So just something to keep in mind. This is a very unique market. I probably won't touch it, but I want to provide as much information as I can out there. Now, I also want to come to look a little bit into some of these companies that we saw. So Coral Reef announces a 1.5 billion pound commitment to power UK AI innovation and growth through sustainable computing. Uh, this is after the company had already announced a 1 billion uh, pound investment, I think in 2024. Now this brings up to 2.5 billion. That is crazy amount in just that era. Again, another company that is building massive, massive amount of debt. It's OpenAI and Core Reef that continue to burn money. But I, I want to share some stuff here. So as part of the investment, Core Reef is partnering with NVIDIA and Data Vita in Scotland. Together, they will deploy the most advanced NVIDIA Grace Blackwell Ultra GPUs. Again, the Blackwell Ultra, that's the one getting a lot of attention, backed entirely by renewable energy and leveraging state-of-the-art closed-loop cooling technologies to minimize water consumption. This continues Corey's practice of using renewable energy across its European data centers. Coreef is also planning an additional sovereign AI infrastructure deployment with NVIDIA's Grace Blackwell 300 GPUs and... NVIDIA's RTX Pro Blackwell Server Edition GPUs. So that's that. Um, outside of that, they also kind of took this press release to remind us that they're investing dramatically in the United States. Beyond the UK, Corey recently announced plans with the local US government to allocate up to $6 billion to equip state-of-the-art data centers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and advancing its mission to power the global AI ecosystem. Now, I want to take a step back. And first, if you are enjoying the episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. It really does help out the channel a lot. The second thing is all these UK investments with all these major companies like Microsoft is during Trump's visit over there. So it's more like Trump saying, look, if you're friends with me, I'm going to make sure you're friends with these parties. Even though in theory, I do believe a lot of these parties would have been doing the business. That's the way I think the optics is what wants to be seen, right? It's, hey, look at me. Your guys are friends. We're friends. We're going to make sure you guys get plenty and plenty of AI investments in your place. Um, but overall, the AI market is just transforming and, and these two it, it's, is spreading like wildfires. Now, I want to go into OpenAI. So OpenAI introducing Stargate UK. They're announcing Stargate UK, an infrastructure 
partnership with NVIDIA and Nscale that strengthens the UK's sovereign compute capabilities. Nscale is set to significantly expand its planned UK capacity for Starkey UK, and the project is expected to be based across a number of sites, including Cobalt Park, which will form part of the newly designated AI growth zone in the Northeast. OpenAI will explore offtake up to 8,000 GPUs in quarter one of 2026, with the potential to scale to up to 31,000 GPUs over time. This one seems like a smaller aspect for OpenAI. Maybe they don't see kind of too much demand there, uh, but they do have the potential to grow. Uh, remember, OpenAI is creating a lot of these Stargate projects globally. They have the Stargate in the EU, and we're expected to most likely hear more throughout the upcoming months and the upcoming years. Now, outside of that, I kind of want to share some important information and another stock. So the first stock I wanted to talk to about was Oxford Nanopore Technologies. Again, um, it was kind of po posted there in NVIDIA's press release. I don't think many people follow this stock. Again, I wouldn't trade this. It seems like very low volume, but I wanted to bring it up to you. Now, the second thing is today's semi-analysis of every very important, a very good semiconductor analysis company shared this AI training data center capacity by Frontier AI Lab, megawatts of IT capacity. And the first thing we're seeing is blue is open AI and open AI continues to grow. And third quarter of 2025, uh, they're expected to grow dramatically as well. Another player that's expected to grow at massive levels is actually all of them, right? We have uh, Anthropic expected to grow dramatically. Meta super intelligence expected to grow, but the one that's also expected to see some massive growth is, is XAI. XAI with its colossal too. Uh, so this overall chart just showcases, in my opinion, kind of that top level capacity needs for AI needs, uh, for compute and for GPUs. As this continues to grow, you know it's because they're hopefully seeing the demand that that means more AI GPUs for sale for companies like NVIDIA. The other thing, and this is information that they shared on their free part of the newsletter. I'm only sharing anything that is free. They mentioned that XAI um, is relying a lot of the energy on the rental turbine company, on the rental turbine company called Solaris Energy Infrastructure. This company is actually publicly traded. It's ticker SEI on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of $2.1 billion, 2.2. Now, again, right now, there seems to be this massive, massive investment happening in the AI market. And if the market takes whiff of this, you can probably see some reaction to the stock. Now, this is more talking more about the momentum and just the potential of volatility to the stock. But I'm bringing it here. Maybe in the future, I will be doing a video, but this one does seem interesting, right? In the energy space, I personally like companies that are super small, right? And a company that's a $2 billion that has somehow has exposure to the AI market doesn't seem like the worst idea just yet. Years to date, the stock is up roughly 10%. And from its April lows, the stock is now up about 100%. But we can see years to date, you really don't see much movement. In the past year, uh, the stock is up nearly 168%. So Solaris Energy Infrastructure, this is one that I might think about dabbling the more I research on. Um, so yeah, just wanted to bring that up to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We learned a lot about the AI market. And like I mentioned, two companies that might have the Midas touch from NVIDIA uh, that could create some momentum in, in, in the short term. So take care, have a good day, and see you all next time.